place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Yeah, well, we start by finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking a window. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. Mm, it was worth a try. <sighs> All right. Let's look around back, huh? Okay, give me your hand. All right, there you go. I can't jump that high. Here, follow me. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Here. Nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I know you remember. She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but... It's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Was this your house? Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep, always the asshole. Oh, 
don't need budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 What the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> Huh, this one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. Hmm. And you recognize that one? Uh. I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife. And buried together. It's kind of dark. In like an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar too? On second thought, maybe not. Organ jars. <laughs> cool. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. This is an ancient Mesopotamian washer-dryer combo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Give to get an invite like this. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey. Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Okay. One last spin. Brazil. Hey, now you're talking. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. Yeah. That too. I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Hail Caesar. 
Fertility totems. Are you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Wow. This table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. The food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Flintlock rifles. I wonder if they still work. Whoa. Warrants of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Never got around to it, though. Jousting armor. Looks French. Hey, maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much. Dragon Gong. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Look at these. Compass, sundial. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? Your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates. Yeah, more like a generally made up history. Even the author's name is a fake. Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? Man, this place, man. Wow. Want to take it with you? <laughs> nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. Huh. Nice. Liven up the place. <laughs> Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. Is that a letter? What's left of it? Someone wanted to buy their stuff. Guess they said no. Not like they needed the money. I wouldn't want to part with the stuff either. Samurai! Eh? And you recognize the crest? Uh, hollyhock leaves are, um... Let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me... Uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh... Let's check upstairs. <sighs> Damn it. Journals about everything in the world. But nothing from Mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Oh, wow. They knew Amelia Earhart? No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. Stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in.
check this out. <laughs> Smile, all right? <laughs> Don't lose it. Don't fall. See you on the other side. Okay. It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Lock from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? Huh. Coding. Lots of painkillers. Anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Nope. Wow. 
Oh, you got something? <gasps> this is it. <laughs> Is a paradise? Whoa, Henry Avery. Gunsway heist. Oh, what do you got there? I've never seen this one. Yeah, me either. But that, you know, that's definitely Mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait. For the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hm. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh... Hi. My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might, so, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed. I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness and... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sic Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Yeah. It is as much yours as it is mine. 
Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out, hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. Are you okay? Oh, holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Ma'am? Oh, the police. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this... Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Oh, shit. Window, window, come on. Okay, you check upstairs. You come with me. Copy that. Hurry. Wait up. Front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. Don't think so. Okay. Hey, Dad! You all right? You there! Don't move! Run for it! This way! We can lose him! This is Officer Murphy. We've got two burglary suspects on foot. One adult, one juvenile. Both men. Freeze, goddammit! Down on the ground! Hands Shit. on your head! Stop, God damn it! Heck this way! Go, go, go! <sighs> there! Gotcha. There they are! <clears throat> Run like hell, Nathan! You're only making this worse for yourself! Come on, go! Call for backup! I did already! One more warning! Down on the ground! Hands on your head! Gotcha! Uh, oh shit! Come on! Run! Stop, Stop, God damn it! Run! You get out of here! There! By the guest house! Run! Oh, shit! <laughs> They're bolting! The dumpster! Come on! Okay. I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, 
It's okay to feel bad, but there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Well, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? And everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, or after I thought I lost him. I, you didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah, they're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar? No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... 
Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So, we're headed to the northern side of the island? Yeah, New Devon. Home to the founders of Libertalia. And that's where Rafe is taking your brother. The treasure's probably there. Just need to save Sam before they find it. Look. Up there. I borrowed it from your shoreline friends. You slid all the way down from there? Yeah, it was the quickest way to get down to you. Now we just gotta figure out another way back up. Yeah, here. Been here long? On the island? A few hours now. Did you see the colony? I did. From there. Pretty incredible, right? I didn't get the full tour. I was a little preoccupied with finding you. Right. So, did uh, Sully fill you in on the deal with this place? Yep. Henry Avery, 400 million. Twelve founders, hundreds of colonists, something like that. Wow. Is that an elevator? Sure looks like it. I swear Avery recruited the best engineers of his time. He must have used it to move supplies upriver. Yeah, that's a fair bet. Where's your car? I just need to get up there. Well, what do you think? Which way? That's ah, too high. Let's find another way up. There's gotta be something around here. Here we go. I can boost you up there. Great. What? Mm. Oh. oh, sorry. Hey, do you think there's another way up? Uh. Hey, I see a path up here. There's a way through over there. See if you can find something I can use. Yep. Hey, I found something. Hold on. Hey, nice jump! Not bad, right? Way to go, Nate. Piss a girl like that off. Idiot. Come on, I'll meet you around. I'm okay! Sort of... Everything's under control! See if you can get back up here. Yeah. 
Yeah, roger that. <clears throat> <clears throat> find a way out of there? It looks like a dead end. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. It's 300 years old. Been exposed to the weather, and who knows if it Got ever... It. Oh, look, it works. Going up? Next floor, menswear. Kind of incredible. Ugh, jinxed it. You know, I'll just uh, meet you at the top, I guess. Moves, hon. Nothing to it. Now then, which way is the car? It'll be easier to spot from higher ground. Right. Good <laughs> idea. Oh, well, we're getting some exercise at least, right? Might be worth a shot! Oh. Elena, come on! I'm in! Go! that elevator it's massive yeah I'm guessing new Devon's at the top then let's get up there uh, uh, hey easy so here's my question why does Ray Fadler want Avery's it's not like he needs the money what's the glory doesn't want to be known as a guy who only got rich because of his inheritance walking away isn't an option for him 
Well, Rafe is a good match for Shoreline. He needs their muscle and they need his money. They do? They seem pretty well stocked. Shoreline got involved in a couple of civil wars that didn't pan out for them. Nadine inherited her father's mess. She's probably hoping that this will put her back on the map. So good. Keep heading upstream. Bet you could write a killer article about all this. <laughs> I could. I doubt anybody would believe it. Oh, you could take pictures too. I didn't believe that. Kind of wish I did though. So why do you think Sam didn't come straight to you after Rafe got him out of prison? I think he wanted to gather every clue that Rafe had on Avery before bailing on him. Plus, he needed time to come up with that crazy Alcazar story. I mean, if I had just looked it up, that is one crazy contraption. It looks big enough to fit the car. Well, here's hoping this one works as well. All right, let's look around. Of course not. It would have been too easy. The water wheel's still working. Well, either we fix this thing or we find a way to climb it. Let's see what's what. Didn't do anything. Stop the water wheel. Didn't really help us though. All right, let's try something else. Go. Stand clear. I got it. Okay. Hey, Nate. Move out of the way. Looks like I can get up there now. Thank you. yet. I'm gonna climb higher. Need an elevator just to fix the elevator.
ever a doubt? Oh, hold on. I'll stop the wheel. Okay, ready. <laughs> That's my girl. I'm gonna detach the winch now. Okay. I'll bring the car to the elevator. Good call. to... Uh... Oh, never mind. Okay. Fuck. Watch out! Stay down. Use the car as cover. Let me see if I can flank them. Stop the little shit! <laughs> Sure? You seem to be doing fine. After all that, I need a break. Oh, well, we earned it. So I was thinking, all this engineering and architecture, it doesn't come cheap. You think there's even any treasure left? We're wondering that ourselves. There's the elevator. There goes nothing. Whoa, hang on. Ah, there. I got control again. 
we're getting there. You didn't happen to bring us some spare clothes, did you? I did. Right. They're on the plane. Not great. That dam. We can drive through the sluice gate. go. Hey, it's no good. It's blocked. Okay, I'll try the other one. Seen that coming. <clears throat> and behind door number two. <clears throat> Looks like this one's clear. Nice work. Go. Damn it. That oh, was close ish. You need to get more speed. Watch this. Hang on. Uh, we did it. You sound surprised. Maybe a little. And we're up. The odds that elevator's working. So far, we're two for two. Yeah, which means we're due for some disaster. Well, the water wheel's working. That bodes well. Hey, give me a hand with this. There's nothing. Three for three. Gotta love that pirate engineering. Wow. It's like a postcard. Yeah, Libertalia. Come for the beautiful views, stay for the life or death gunfights. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you change your mind? Hmm? You said you almost didn't come back. Well, I couldn't leave when you were clearly in over your head. And you know, there's that whole marriage vow thing. For better or worse. Yeah. For better or worse. I 
here. <clears throat> Give me a hand with this. All right. Okay. <laughs> you know, even <laughs> if you think that you're protecting me, you don't have a right to shut me out like that. No matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it together as a team. I, I know that. Really, I do. It's just... I... I... I yeah. You know, I, we should stay focused. There'll be time for this later. Next stop, New Devon. We're here, Sully. Where are you? Still in the air. Saw a bunch of shoreline vehicles heading north. I guess we'll see them soon. You two doing okay so far? We hit a few hitches, but so far so good. All right, good. Keep in touch, will you? I'm not the no news is good news type. We'll try. Over and out. Okay, should be on the other side of the bridge. Hang on tight. Hold on! No way! I hate bridges! No, 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 no! Ah! Oh, oh, turn around! We're heading for the falls! I can't! The current's too strong! Brace yourself! Ugh. Nate? Hang on! Nate! There! We can climb up those rocks! On it! Go! Go! I got it! Come on! Nate! Uh, uh, waterfall. Waterfall? Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Ah! Nate! Okay! I'm okay! The tree! The tree is not okay! Oh, come on! Over here, quick! Uh, 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 uh. Too much for the car. <laughs> Come on. I wasn't trying to protect you. It's just I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was, uh, protecting myself, you know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Just keep moving. Yeah. This way. At least we're on the right side of the river now. Yeah. That would have been bad. Good call. Now, how do we get up there? A 
Avery sure picked a gorgeous island. Well, maybe we can come back here on a vacation, huh? By your lonesome? Now well, rest in peace, my pirate friend. <clears throat> Judging by the clothes, they're colonists. Maybe it was a fight? No, I, I don't think so. Look how they're arranged. Yeah, you're right. They're stacked. They were just shoved against the walls. They were already dead when they were brought here. This is a mass grave, Nate. <coughs> Hello? Who is this? Now look at the sign. Traitor. It's one of the rebels. That's a bad way to die. Here's another one. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. More gibbets. I guess that's one way to quash a rebellion. I have to wonder if this was always the plan. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No, to lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. Mm, we are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Well, that is pretty diabolical, even for pirates. help for a sec. Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. Excuse me. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. <laughs> a real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this.
All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. One still intact. Ah. They're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, I've had a little practice, I've read a few books. Shit, no. shit. What? What? The front door. Sam. He's still alive. Yeah, for now. Come on. All right, keep your eyes open for shoreline types. Yep. Here goes nothing. Whoops! You all right? Yeah. You know, when Sully told me about this place, I was picturing wooden shacks and simple homes at most. Yeah. Well... Through here. Watch your head. Ooh, someone had it in for this guy. Oh, another old note. Dragon. We're in Christopher Condon's house. Shit. Shoreline. Lena, get down. I see them. Huh? Rose hasn't come back with our four by four. Drake's probably still out there, so lock this place down. We need to be prepared if they show up. More prepared than the river patrol. What's that? Uh, nothing, but... I'd better be nothing. One man? this for one man
Where'd you go? What was it? Nothing, bro. We're clear. Nate, look out. Yeah, he might be here. All right, then. Come out now! Got nothing. Any clues? Same. Nothing. Come on, let's push him into the open. Yeah, okay.
Jesus. I think that's it. You okay? Yeah. Let's push on. <sighs> How many people did you bring here, Nadine? She does have an entire <coughs> Well, let's hope not. For Sam's sake. Look, there's something here. It's addressed to Richard Watt. Signed Adam Baldrige. They were both founders? Look, we can climb up there. Yeah, but it's too high, even for a boost. Then let's look around. Ah, refreshing. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. <laughs> Just busting your chops. <laughs> yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Well, wet again. Tired, bruised. Oh, hungry. I could eat. Other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on. Let's keep going. Try cutting through this house. Yeah. I'm right behind you. You think the 
the colonists flooded this place? Well, they definitely had the motivation. But you don't think it's them. I just find it odd that all these houses are underwater except for one. Avery's. Exactly. It's beautiful. Oh, what's this? Jesus, not all Lord of the Flies in here. No kidding. <laughs> Getting there. Yeah, let's just hope we're not too late. Cannons look like they were retrofitted. Yeah, improvised defenses. Guess they didn't expect they'd be fighting each other. Guess not. Ooh, nice water feature. Time for another swim, I guess. Right you are. Hold up. I'll weigh it down for you. Great. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. You make a great counterweight. Uh, I mean... It's okay. I'll choose to take that as a compliment. As well you should. <coughs> so much water. <coughs> I made it. I'll find a way up for you. <coughs> Too hard. Can't do this alone. Okay. This should work. All right, stand clear! Uh, there you go. Hey, great. Let's move this out of the way. Yep. Okay. Hey, look. Thomas II's sigil. So we're in his mansion. Second in command. Going up the pirate hierarchy. Good lord. <laughs> Looks like we found the party. Looks like we're a little late. Hey, Nate. Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? It's them. Elena, these other pirate captains have founded Libertalia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide 
cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas II, Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um... Uh, what was it? Uh, abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. These are some of history's greatest pirates, and they all perished in an instant at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. There, for posterity. Hey, up here, slowly. Right behind you. Be careful. Oh, oh. Okay, I got it. I'll meet you up top. Hey. Hi. And we are officially inside Henry Avery's house. Word of the day, ostentatious. So why didn't he kill Thomas too? Was he like his right-hand man? Yeah, that's exactly what he was. <laughs> Can you imagine taking orders from a paranoid psychopath? This sounds like my first job. <laughs> what, the producer on your TV show? No, my manager from Macho Nacho. You worked at a Macho Nacho? It was a high school job. Did you wear one of those hats? The point is, my boss was a paranoid psychopath. He was the manager at a Macho Nacho. Just watch it, okay? Look, Shoreline barricaded the front door. And left a bunch of muddy footprints behind. Let's see where they went. Huh. 
Elena, check it out. The footprints go through this door. <clears throat> Crap, it's blocked from the other side. Why bother barricading their path unless... They found something. All right, help me push this open. Yeah. Jesus. You all right? Yeah. They were just waiting to ambush us. Yeah. All right, let's get that door open. See what they didn't want us to find. Okay, here we go. You ready? It's a letter. Signed by... Avery. Really? Read it. My loyal subjects, as the sun sets on our glorious paradise, we must endeavor to preserve its riches. The traitorous, too, knows our secrets, so we must act quickly, destroy the dam, cleanse New Devon. Here we go. Uh-huh. And move my treasure through the passage to my ship. Two and Avery turned on each other. Are you really surprised? I guess not. Here you go. Thanks. Let's go find that passage. There's no more footprints. They end here. Okay, so where did they go? Let's look around. Sam's lighter. Did he drop it? Yeah, on purpose. Whatever it is we're looking for has to be somewhere around here. There's gotta be another way out of this room. Maybe that passage Avery mentioned in the letter. But where's the switch? Maybe this is a switch. No. I wonder if... Nope. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nate. Yeah. Did you find something? I think so. Whoa. <laughs> Good thing they figured that out for us. How did you do that? There's a bloody fingerprint right here where Libertalia should be, and I pushed it. Nicely done. So the letter said that Avery was moving his treasure to the ship. Yeah. Do you think the treasure's still on that island? I think, uh, I think it doesn't matter anymore. Here we go. Watch your head. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Looks like Avery built himself a panic cave. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Crap. Guess we're gonna find out. This place doesn't look very stable. Look, fresh footprints. They must have come this way. That's a lot of footprints. Let's take this slow. Crap. There we go. What is that? My money's on Nadine's men. They'll use any excuse to use dynamite. They'd have to be pretty dumb to use it in here. Yeah, they're pretty dumb. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, hold up. So, some kind of death trap? Uh, yeah. But Sam and the others somehow made it across. We just gotta follow their lead. Ugh. so bad if it didn't creak so much. Just don't go where the footsteps aren't. <laughs> what? And unclench. Whew. Lena, look. Footprints stop here. They must have made it through and it collapsed behind them. Gonna move this out of the way here. Yeah. Damn it. I have to find another way. Oh no. Just hold out a little longer. Crap. Come on. Still have Sam's lighter? Yes. Good idea. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Of course he used it all up. Smoked like a goddamn chimney on the boat right over. Relax. I brought some matches. You did? Of course. There we go. Oh, sorry. Just one sec. Ow! Ow, that's my head. Hello? Over here! Ow! Ugh, tripped. Ow! God damn it! Over here!
Thanks. Glad you came prepared. Somebody had to. Come on, let's find a way forward. Nice romantic lighting. Hey, this looks promising. Boost you up? Yeah. Come on. Huh? <clears throat> okay, uh, there we go. Uh, <clears throat> okay, come on up. <clears throat> okay, thanks. Watch your head. Yeah. Careful. Whoa. What the hell is this? This is creepy. The hands that stole from me. Wow, Avery's not even pretending to be sane at this point. I don't like this place. Me either. Let's get out of here. Hey, look. Avery had some gibbets left over. Gibbets? What? It's pronounced gibbets. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, no one likes to know it all. Gibbets. Wait, is that... You okay? I think so. What was that? Trap. Avery really didn't want any trespassers down here. All right, watch your step. Me? You're the one that stepped on it. Fine. Oh, hell. God damn it! Are you okay? Yeah, so far, so good. Maybe I just stay a little ways back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now we know what caused the explosion we heard earlier. Hey, Nate. I found a shortcut. How do you know it's a shortcut? Try to be optimistic here. Jesus. now. Great. Don't explode, okay? Just... I wish I'd brought earplugs. Am I yelling? Nate, careful. Yeah. Man, Avery's gone all Egyptian. Except this mummification wasn't, you know, voluntary. Back on the trail. The footprints go this way. I'd be ready for a fight. Oh, I always am. Wait, is that a, in reference to me? No, would you calm down? You calm down. Hey, guess these guys weren't paying attention. There's no sign of Sam. We'll find them. Whoa! Shit!
Appreciate Avery's exploding mummies. The mouths that spoke ill of me. I'd hate to see this guy's Christmas tree. I don't see you. We must be on a different route than the others. All right, let's see if we can catch up. Hey. So I guess this loops around? Guess so. Looks like a fight broke out. Yeah, two's men versus Avery's. Excuse me. <sighs> Hello. Some kind of key. What's that note? Oh, right. It's, uh, it's from two to his men. Hey, we can use the key to get out of here. That's good. Hmm. There's some symbols on the back. Well, let's go find a keyhole. You gonna explode now? Huh? No? How about you? This guy had some serious trust issues. Oh god, oh god, oh god! <coughs> you done? Nice moves. Thank you. Huh. <coughs> Not quite as creepy as all the hanging bones. Still, it's a little creepy. Yeah, maybe three out of ten, though. I'd say four. Really? Four? Mm hmm Oh, my ears just popped. Yeah, we're definitely descending. Okay, it's another death trap. Yeah, no footprints to guide us. symbols match the ones on those posts. <laughs> Two showed his men how to get past the traps. To a good start? Follow my lead, okay? Just be careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> it's 
says the guy who set off every mummy bomb in this place. Yeah, well, you know, not a lot of experience with the mummy bombs. Thank you. So far, so good. Yeah, knock on wood. Better. Hey! There. Made it. In your face, Avery. <laughs> That's our way out of here. Oh, God. Are those the rest of Two's men? Yeah, gotta be. We know Avery likes to make an example of his enemies. He definitely likes making exploding mummies. Yeah. Let's, uh, tread carefully in here. Keyhole? Key. Wait, it could be a trap. We really don't have much of a choice. Oh boy. But I have a good feeling about this one. Huh? Do it. See? Well, at least we didn't get blown to bits. Oh, shit. You didn't bring a knife by any chance, did you? No. Oh, but that guy's got a sword. Here, help me swing this thing. Just like old times, huh? Lena? Lena? Hey! Hey! Lena, come on! Lena! Uh, my hero. Oh, no, you didn't do that. <laughs> no! That's not funny! Oh, oh you have done much worse. No. God, you gave me a goddamn heart attack. Oh, let me listen. Sounds good to me. Uh, you realize we are now even for everything I've ever pulled, right? Yeah, like ever. No, not by a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you've got mud everywhere. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you you have a funny idea of romantic? Yeah. Yeah, I may have heard that somewhere before. Good talk. Good talk. That's gotta be Sam. Come on. At least the gunfire means he's still alive. For now. 
Is that a gun? Yeah, sure looks like it. It's a ship graveyard. <clears throat> looks like we can get down this way. Yeah, it looks safe. It's about as safe as anything on this island. Closer to them. <clears throat> oh. Oh. oh, crap. Look, that's Sam. He's surrounded. Yeah. Come on. We gotta go get him. I gotta find a way to the beach. Beach. The bigger they are, the harder they are to take down. Now we're talking! The 
Come on. We can cut through the ship's hold. <sighs> We can squeeze now through let's here. Find your brother. Okay, now where did Sam go? You went this way! Well, there's your answer. A sight for sore eyes. Yeah. How about we get off this damn beach, huh? Absolutely. Did you find my lighter?
Nice one. Christ, how many of these trucks did you bring, Rafe? Shoreline Merc had an RPG. What the hell is it? Shoreline Merc had an RPG. What the hell is it? Okay. Son of a 
bitch, another one? Here we go. better in my head. Nice work, kid. Yeah, thanks for the assist. Come on over. I'll get you out of there. <laughs> Please. Good to see you, kid. <laughs> right in the nick of time. Yeah, well, got a little antsy waiting around to hear from you two. Oh, no, we gotta find Sam and Elena still. Hey. 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 Are you okay? Yeah. We heard those explosions, we thought. Yeah, that's all this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you saved his ass again? Naturally. How are you doing? Good. Good. There were some close calls, but, um... He covered me. Hey. Hey. How's that? Oh. <laughs> Bullet grazed my shoulder. Yeah. You? Cliffside grazed my face. So how'd you lose Rafe? He yeah, led his crew right into one of Avery's traps. Smart. <laughs> hey, hey, look. About the whole Alcazar thing. Hey, just, we gotta save that for later, okay? Yeah. Which way? On the beach, other side of this town. Okay. Good, I hope all that ruckus didn't attract any attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. What are we doing? What do you think we're doing? We're getting the hell off of this rock. Right, we, we, we could do that. Or we could head in that direction, which is a shortcut. Shortcut to what? To Avery's treasure. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, Rafe's gotta go all the way around, but we can hey, just- screw Rafe. Hey, Victor, with all due respect, maybe just- You just this... don't know when to quit. Look, we're all here for the same reason, right? Right? We didn't come after the treasure. We came after you. And I appreciate that. I, I, I do but we're good. And we've got the lead for now. <laughs> we can do this. Nathan, come on. Huh? Look around. Okay? Avery scuttled every last ship on this island. You know why? Because he was hell-bent on keeping his treasure. Exactly. No matter the cost to the others around him. <sighs> because he didn't want anyone to follow him. Because he was leaving. Look at this. Okay. I found his map of the island. Okay? That's his ship right under that mountain. That's where our treasure is. And it is exactly where Rafe is headed right now while we stand around here and argue like idiots. Okay, what if he's already left the island and his ship sunk somewhere out there in the middle of the ocean? Then we find out where it got sunk. Oh, boy. How long we've been chasing this thing, huh? You and me. No offense to these guys, but they don't get it. 
actually, Sam, they do. They really do. Okay. And trust me, they've seen this kind of obsession before. <sighs> Sam, we're not those kids anymore. We're not. And we got nothing to prove. Victor, where's that plane? Right this way.